day, good day, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Anno 1800 with mods. This is episode two of our amazing Let's Play, and we are almost ready for tier two. Where we left off last time, we built this nice little settlement. I did add a little bit more blueprinting. I'll show you uh, more detail on how blueprinting works and what you should do with it. Um, but yeah, so we are almost there, satisfying. Oh, look at that. We are satisfied. Workers' needs are complete. Everything's green. Everything looks good. And now we can start upgrading the homes and unlocking Tier 2. So let's do that, shall we? So we'll click on a house, hover over to upgrade residence uh, building. So click that, and boom! The need to work hard. Everybody is happy. We have workers now. New milestone. Look at that. New buildings. Just so much more. And of course, more needs for our citizens to have. Honest work. That's all we ask. So this is what the uh, work, the worker workforce uh, building house panel looks like. So as you can see, they have more needs. So eventually, they're going to need sausage, bread, soap, and a school. And then happiness, they have different happiness needs. So they need a church and beer. Of course, beer. Who could live without beer? So they are taking uh, the market, fish, and work clothes as well. So we have to make sure um, that we will are producing enough work clothes and fish. Don't expect me to shake you. Because uh, although the work or the farmers are eating the fish and uh, consuming the work clothes it's only 10 out of 10 but as soon as we unlock sausages for this the house uh, pop like the population in this house will start to uh, increase so they will start using more fish and more clothes so we just have to keep an eye on that and uh, make sure that we're not uh, upgrading too many houses to workers and uh, crippling our economy so yeah, I showed you the one way to upgrade houses. So you click on a house, click upgrade, boom, it's upgraded. Or you could go down to the tool panel, click on the upgrade tool, and click and drag, and look at that. Everything with a green arrow can be upgraded. And then let go, and boom, beautiful. Look at that. Such detailed buildings. I love it. Such an amazing game. And again, Boom, upgraded, look at that. So now we have 90 plus workers and 328 uh, farmers. So another quick thing, when you upgrade uh, a farmer's house, these 10 farmers now turn into 10 workers. Game so you safe. lose 10 farmers out of your farmer workforce. So you have to balance that out. So make sure you I have enough farmers working in the field and uh, fish in the great blue seas or else uh, your workforce will go down rather quickly. All right, so now we'll just check on our flagship. So our flagship is back. It has discovered uh, two AI characters, uh, maybe three. Did we discover all three? Let's see. So we have the green one over here, this fat guy. Okay, looks like you just settled this island because there's nothing on it. Usually they have quite a few buildings going. And we have the pink lady over here. Look at that. Now if you ever see a star above a, a ship like this, it's a quest available. So you can just click on it and she, got potential. she will blabber. And Beryl knows how to ring it out. Yes, yes. And not right now. Done, we'll come back to bite you. Oh no, I hope not. Okay, so yeah, so each character will have different quests that you could do and it will greatly benefit you with money or items. Uh, last episode I didn't go over items. Uh, sadly, my dogs interrupted and <laughs> was barking like crazy and I had to cut that part of the video out, but I'll go back over it, so don't fear. But yeah, this is what their islands look like. They're random. And if we're lucky, you could see them plopping down buildings and stuff. But I guess not right here. Or not right now. And then we have the island over here. Are you wondering how I'm getting here quickly? I'm just clicking on the map back and forth. Bottom left corner of the screen. Perfect. So you see another quest item by his lighthouse. And 
this guy is one of the additional content. I just thought I heard an explosion. Okay. Yeah, so he's additional content. So he is like fascist kind of communism. So look at this. Anarchy, look at that. So he, he's got these speakers, propaganda going on everywhere. Schools are made to look like palaces. And yeah, it's just a crazy place. So we got to keep an eye on this guy because eventually, if we do more quests and he starts to like us, um, fascist, communism, whatever you want to call them, propaganda lovers, will start coming to our island and convincing our people. Uh, to join the dark side. Although we do have a, a communi communism flag, the Soviet Union flag, um, doesn't mean we're quite there yet. So we'll kind of keep like a peaceful, uh, you know, freedom of speech going on so far on an island, on our island, and maybe we'll turn to the dark side. We'll see how it works all out. Okay, so the first things first in the new tier. We have paved streets and bricks. So in order to do paved streets, uh, we're gonna need bricks. And paved streets are amazing, better than dirt paths. Uh, you just lay it down like the road and uh, workers will travel faster on those roads and produce uh, uh, products more quickly. So they'll transfer them back to the warehouse a lot faster than what they are right now. So that's a good thing to have. So. First things first, we're going to need bricks. So we're going to need clay pits. So we go to the bottom left panel here above the map. And we cover over clay pits. Just click on one. And it will automatically drag us to it. So look at that. That's what a clay pit looks like. Okay. So we're going to need to build a clay pit over it. You can't build it around it or beside it. It has to be directly over it. And then, like everything else, we're going to need a warehouse. Let's drag that. I can't drag that onto my bar. Okay, whatever. All right. So let's plop down a warehouse. And then, in order to make bricks, we're going to need brick factories. And again, keep an eye on uh, produce goods. And where it says bricks, it says one minute. And clay says 30 seconds. So it takes 30 seconds to produce one clay. So if we add two of these, we will um, be caught up pretty quickly on producing bricks. So we'll lay those down. Build the road. So everything needs a road connecting to the main Game harbor. Saved. So we'll do that. Connect this piece right here. Look at that. Okay, so how many workers is this going to take? Let's hover over. 10 gold, 50 workers. So the clay pit costs 50 workers. The brick factory, 25. So that's 100 workers we need. And look at that, perfect amount of workers. So we could go ahead and build the, the, this little layout. Perfect, that's nice and built. And now we could upgrade uh, more houses because we are completely out of workers. All right. You reached a new milestone. And doing so, uh, as you uh, increase your population in each tier, you will uh, quickly start unlocking different buildings. So now we have bread uh, to make bread. We have the church. Uh, we have land ornaments, which is part of the mods. We will look into maybe this episode, maybe not. Uh, it depends on how well our city's looking. And yeah, so there we go. So we got the so we got the one layout for clay going, but that's gonna like produce bricks rather slowly. So like I said in episode one, I love to mass produce things. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do the same layout here: clay pit, warehouse, brick factories. Perfect. There we go. Now you did notice that it's going into uh, my uh, lumberjack's hut area. So you see that little symbol. Now it's decreased to 97. Um, I would be worried, but I'm not. Let, let's just, you know, 
pretend we didn't see that. And we're going to decrease it more to 91. Okay, so that's a little shitty, but we'll live with it. But you know what? You don't need roads all over the place. So this side right here, we don't need that road. We just need a piece of road connecting this building to this building. So if you just add roads, like, let's say a good example here. Like this. That will work. You don't need you don't need these back roads and you just need these roads and you just need a road connect into the harbor. All the little carts will go use those roads. But I like to spend the money and make things look nice, so I like to put roads everywhere. But we won't do it on that side. Don't wanna take away from the lumberjack huts. Okay? Except for right there. <laughs> okay, so there's another clay pit. And we have 100 workers. So let's go ahead and build this. Beauty, look at that. Nice little factories, well detailed. They aren't doing anything right now because they don't have the clay. Looks like that guy's burning some over though, so that's pretty cool. But we could check out on the other clay pit over here. Are they making bricks yet? Oh yeah, look at that. Bricks are going in the oven, boys. There we go. Nice and busy. Love it. Okay, next thing's next. What we're going to need is sausages. So let's go ahead and build some uh, blueprints and layouts for these pig farms and slaughterhouses. So now that we're in our farming area, we need to find a nice little area to make four slaughterhouse or pig farms rather in uh, four slaughterhouses. So let's click on the pig farm. Now if you go down here to the bottom right, like I said I was going to explain blueprint mode. If you click on blueprint mode off, click on this and build, it builds the materials and structure right away. So that's kind of shitty because it'll start working and you'll start paying maintenance costs for something you don't really want there right away or built right away. So go ahead and delete that. So what we're going to do is click on blueprint mode, click on the pig farm, make it the way we want it, click on it again, and we're going to need five pig styes. So you can lay these out however you want, but this is the way I love to lay out pig styes. Game saved. Perfect little square. Look at that. Beauty. Can't complain about that. And so we're going to need a slaughterhouse with that. But first, let's make four of these. So actually, we'll move that up there. And then we'll click on the toolbar here. You got the copy tool. So go ahead, click on that. Click and drag to copy everything. And as you see, I copied it. And now I'm pasting it. You could also copy multiple things. So if I wanted another three of these pig farms... Look at that, just keep dragging until everything's green, let go, and now I have three more. But we're only going to make four. So I ran out of room on this side, so I'm going to wait uh, to build the fourth one and see what it looks like with all these slaughterhouses in place. So I got one, two, three, and then we are going to need a warehouse right there. All right. So we got the slaughterhouses, we just need roads now. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. Hmm, so where can we put the fourth one? I like to use up as much space as I can, so we're not wasting it. So we have all this area in here, but I'm not sure if we could fit anything in there. Can we fit a pig farm? No, not quite. Uh, no. Unless we lay it out differently, which will look weird, but whatever. That's not to waste space, right? Right. Okay, so I'll lay the pig farm out like that. We'll place a sty there, sty there, sty there. And then we're going to need two more. So what we could do is boom, boom. There we go. And then we will add a slaughterhouse right there. And then this little gap will add a little bit of road so it looks nice and neat. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So, now that we have 11 bricks in these slaughterhouses, 
take up five. So we won't be able to make them all, but we'll uh, make a few. So we'll make two of them. So let's upgrade the pig farm. Of course, you need the warehouse, so don't forget about that. So two pig farms and two slaughterhouses. Now our workforce has went went down quite a bit, and our far farmer workforce is down quite a bit. So we're going to need to make more houses. So let's go over and do that. Scoot on over here to make more houses, and someone lit a grease fire in their little shitty huts, and the firefighters are there to save their lives. So go ahead, firefighters, put out that fire. Yeah, that's what taxpayer money is for right there, boys. Put out grease fires. All right, awesome. So as that fire is being put out, we shall make more houses for people to destroy with their stupidity. So go ahead, upgrade all this, all that, and some of that. Cool, now we got a lot of houses. But now we're gonna need workers as well. So we got 83, uh, let's just say farmers. Yeah, 83 farmers. So let's get rid of 40 farmers. Boom, now we have 43. And our, um, yeah, our work, worker workforce is now going up. Perfect. I'm not too big on this mod that has uh, worker houses and uh, farmhouses together because it looked like the, this house was updated, but it's not, it's just a worker or sorry, uh, rather a farmer house. So let's go ahead and update that. And the only other way to check is really clicking on this. Oh, look at that. So we got another quest. Help so, us out, will you, boss? So these are the easier ones out of uh, all the quests I've experienced. So your villagers or your workers, whatever you want to call them, will randomly give you guys quests. So you could go ahead, click on the Come green on button there. It's you what pulls the levers. And we have to find and collect old Har uh, Harold, Harold, whatever you want to call him. So if you click on this, it will, should directly bring you in the uh, area where he should be. So we have to keep an eye out. Hover your mouse around until the little hand comes up to collect someone. Uh, sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. <laughs> but Luckily, we have 29 minutes to find them. Come on. Where the, oh, there he is. So there he is. He's holding up a sign and saying strike. No one else wants to strike. So let's go ahead and collect him and put him away. And there's our item. So last video couldn't explain what items are. So let's go ahead to a our uh, harbor. Click on that. You got all the lists of goods that you're producing, if I didn't show this before. So you got the different tabs. So you got all goods, consumer goods, construction material, raw materials, uh, uh, this product, <laughs> can't say that word, and that one. So if you click on consumer goods, you have fish, snaps, work clothes, and sausage, because that's all we're producing right now. And of course, soap and bread, but we didn't build any of that yet. We just have the buildings unlocked for it. So that's cool. So that's going up, increasing by one. And this is increasing by three. And this is increasing by four. So the trend is really good on this. Um, as you keep building houses, like I said, it will decrease. But luckily, we have 112 in stock. So that's perfect. OK, so the other tab here is items. So if you click on items, it lists a bunch of different items that you've unlocked. So right here we have ship items. So these are items that you are able to equip uh, equipped in ships. And so the one I'm hovering over right now, it shows uh, if you equip in ships, movement speed will increase by 10% and expedition bonuses. So we haven't touched on expeditions yet, but as soon as we get to unlock one, all this will make sense but these are the bonuses that you get if you have this in your ship so you get navigation plus 20 force plus 10 and naval power plus 5 and of course like anything in the game you could sell and trade with so hiring fee is 29,800 so let's say if I went to another trader in the map and went to go buy 
this item, it will cost me two twenty nine thousand eight hundred, and the selling price is very low, so it's seven hundred seven thousand four hundred and fifty. So you don't get much money back if you pay twenty nine thousand for it. And here's another one, and this one has damage slowdown minus forty percent. So these are perfect for our uh, little flagship. So if you go ahead, click on your pl flagship or any ship that you own. This is not my ship, that's a AI ship, just floating around. Yeah, so if you click on your flagship, click on these two arrow arrows, click to trade goods between ship and harbor. Boom, and we're already in the item slot because that's where we left off last, so we could go back and forth. And then if you click on this, it will automatically drag into your ship. But up here is for cargo slots. You want these items to be in the item socket. They could stay in the cargo slots, but there's no point because that's what the um, item sl sockets are for. Uh, because uh, eventually you're, you're gonna wanna like move goods with your ship in order to sell them or take them to new worlds. So make sure that's clear and keep your items down there. And sometimes items will only be equipped in military ships or just any other ship. So you have to make sure you read equip in ships or military ships. So yeah, that is the basic of items and how to get them. But uh, yeah, so back to our city here. So what do we have going on? So we have 289 uh, farmers, so we could get rid of some of those and make some workers. Boom, boom, look at that, more workers, and go all the way back to our farm, and let's get uh, some more pig farms going in slaughterhouses. Awesome, look at that. And you know what, this farming area is moving up rather quickly. I think it's time to add some decorations and make it even look cooler. Um, but first, let's add this building. So this is another building that we unlocked in uh, the workers tier and it is a trade union so in the trade union you could go ahead and plop down wherever you have room I like to make it as close to every building as I can boom click on the upgrade button trade if you're in blueprint real universities yes yes and if you click on it it has equip items to boost nearby buildings so when we were just talking about items, you could get items that boost pr productivity for uh, farmers, for distilleries, for uh, yeah, just anything. Like there's a lot of them out there. So that's perfect here. So we don't wanna, we wanna make sure we have enough room for one of these to add so we could um, boost these up later on once we unlock uh, different items. So that's awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and add some details here. Um, what do we have here? Husky, goose, alpaca, pigsty, sheepfold. You know what, we could extend the sheepfold, can we? Uh, I don't want to make it look too... No. We'll go with, uh, yeah, let's add some bison. Yeah, sure, someone's selling bison here, so we'll go ahead and add some bison. Take off blueprint mode so we can get this really quickly. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. <laughs> you gotta love mods. Love mods because they add so much. Okay, and uh, what else can we do? Horses. Yeah, you see all the horses running everywhere, but where do they keep them? They keep them right here. This horse pen. Look at that. Awesome. Now, with everything else, we're going to need some trees. So let's go back to the farmer's tab. Click on here. And we will do, let's do forest load density. Cool. So click, drag to build multiple at once. Click, drag. There we go. So we got some bushes and some trees. So the low one is all right, but let's see what the medium one looks like. So click, drag, boom. Look at that. That looks awesome. Let's fill in those empty spaces. Let's try, let's try the high density one. Click, drag. Wow, there we go. Now that looks cool. 
Now there's other ornaments too, like we got uh, this one that's actually part of the game. Uh, Urbusov Club uh, ornaments, so you could get these, buy them, unlock them. So there's different statues, they can lay out different fountains, like it's really cool. Like that one's a lion, golden lion. And then the propaganda ones, so when we go fascist or communism, we'll actually lay these out. And uh, yeah, be the king of all kings. <laughs> An emperor. Well, yeah, so there we go. We got pigs going, we got houses going, and I think the next thing we're going to need is bread. So let's go ahead and lay out some, uh, yeah, some bread fields, some wheat fields, and some bakeries. So a good place for that would be right here. So we'll grab the wheat farms, back in blueprint mode. Doosh. Okay, now let's build four of these. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, so I'm just building four of everything, but a good tip is to always make sure how long it'll take to produce what. So in this case, it says grain, one minute, sun flour, 30 seconds, and bakery, one minute. So you're gonna need two for one flour mill and two bakeries for one flour mill. So two uh, grain farms for flour mill and two bakeries for a flour mill. So since we're building four of everything, let's go ahead and build, uh, should we? Yeah, we'll build six of those, okay? So you click on them, lay out the grain farm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just went over quickly to make these um, these grain farms. They are a pain in the arse because you need 144 tiles uh, in order to produce uh, max uh, grain. So I had to kind of puzzle it out to fill up as much space as I can. So we have six of these. And as you see, like that very thin gold line, that is all their tiles. So if you keep clicking, you see how I had to really map them out properly and try and make it all nice and even. Kind of, kind of worked, kind of didn't, but whatever. Such is life, right? Right. Okay, so now we're ready to add our flour mills. I'll add them like this. So we need one for, uh, so one for two uh, grain farms. So boom, three. Then we're gonna need a. You know what? We'll add the bakeries next. Hmm. How should I lay this out? Let's turn the camera around there. Let's flip these back. We'll go like this. So they'll be on the first one like that. Four, so we need two more. Uh, so there, and we'll go there. Cool, so there's that. Then we're going to add the warehouses. So I'm going to add two warehouses because there's a lot going on here. I probably don't need to, but you know what? Such is life. Um, I can't uh, risk anything because once this is built, I'm probably not going to look at it again because it just looks like chaotic. <laughs> so we'll uh, add the road all around that. There we go. Look at that. Crazy, eh? Let's see if our... Um, our union reaches it uh, somewhat, not all of it, but whatever. We'll, we'll live with that, unless the union, no, nope. yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we got this going on, now we're ready to build. So let's go ahead, hit the upgrade button, drag and upgrade. And now our farmer workforce is completely low. So we're gonna have to build more houses before we could continue. Let's go back to our blueprints over here, drag. Let's just go ahead and build all this. Look at that. Quite the little town slash city we got going on. It's really dull. So we're going to have to add some more plants and flowers and stuff. So let's go back to here. Let's finish this project first and then we'll do that. 
So warehouses, flour mill, and bakery. So we're out of materials to build the, these last two bakeries, but that's okay. We're minus 93 uh, workers, so we're going to have to make some more workers. So let me go do that, and we shall be back. Hello guys and welcome back. All right, look at all these worker houses we got going on. I did finish the little bakeries over here, so the bread is now producing. Look at that, lovely. Beautiful detail. You can see all the little people in the field here. That is so cool. Wow, just a beautiful game. So detailed. And look at this, the editor. So this is a cool little add-on to the game. Uh, it's not an add-on, it's part of the game. But uh, yeah, so raised a settlement. you got these newspapers that will pop up and you get to make different choices if, choices if you want to change up the newspaper. So like fake news, <laughs> it's perfect. So right now we got a uh, new company takes roots. So that's us, plus five, happiness and light. So everyone's happy, happy happiness is up. So riot change chances will go minus 50 happiness plus five and then we got sad news worker uh, factory worker shortfall so that's minus five so let's I go ahead undercover as a clown and joined the circus but when the balloon burst my report was far too colorful to publish <laughs> okay so we got minus five here let's get rid of that so if you click on edit we're gonna throw in some fake if news here insist, I I, I, I won't stand in your way. So now we have five plus uh, plus five uh, percent income. I've just been delving into your. And it takes up uh, twenty five influence. So you gotta watch how much influence you spend because certain buildings and certain ships will cost influence. So you gotta make sure you don't just spend it all on fake news. So there we go. So that's done. And yeah. So that was exciting. Uh, we got a lot done in a short time here. Um, our next episode, I do promise we will decorate this and make this look beautiful in episode three. And we will hopefully, so we're it's done the bread. Born, it? It's going up, it's at 99%. So the next episode, we'll get the soap done. We'll get the school going and get all their happiness needs going. And of course, make the city pretty. So thanks for watching, ladies and gents. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is episode two of my first YouTube series. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you have any uh, questions or suggestions for me to um, do or add into the videos, just let me know and I'll get back to you. So as always, have an amazing day. Take care. This is Trigger08 signing off.